Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 1.2 round to the nearest 10 or 100 and our essential question is how can you round numbers? Okay, if we have three dollars and 99 cents we say that this is approximately four dollars it's about four dollars okay that is the idea of rounding here we round it to the nearest dollar what is the closest to dollar is it one dollar two dollars three dollars four dollars or five dollars we see that the closest one is four dollars okay so let's unlock the problem when you round a number you find a number that tells you about how much or about how many may's baseball bat is 32 inches long what is its length rounded to the nearest 10 inches one way use a number line to round so round the 32 to the nearest 10 okay if we want to put the 32 where do we put it will you put it here between the 0 and 10 no the 10 and 20 no the 20 and 30 no the 30 and 40 yes it's greater than the 30 and less than the 40 and here in the middle this is the 35 so we put the 32 before it so here it will be the 32 after the 30 and before the 35 so the 32 is between 30 and 40 so here thirty two is between thirty and forty. Remember here we are rounding to the nearest ten. So thirty two is closer to thirty or forty. See it's closer to thirty, so it's closer to thirty than it's to 40 okay so 32 is rounded to the nearest 10 is 30 so the length of Maya's bat rounded to the nearest 10 inches is 30 inches okay B we want to round the 174 to the nearest 100 Okay, look at the hundreds here, zero hundreds, one hundred, two hundred, three hundreds. So, one hundred seventy-four is between one hundred and two hundred. And in the middle here, this is the one hundred fifty. So, we'll put it after the one hundred fifty, we'll put it here. So, one hundred seventy-four is between one hundred and two hundred. okay but it's closer to the 200 than it's to the 100 see it's closer now to the 200 not the 100 so 174 rounded to the nearest 100 is 200 okay the next page okay try this Round 718 to the nearest 10 and 100. Locate and label 718 on the number lines. Okay, so we need 718 to be rounded to the nearest 10 and to the nearest 100. For the nearest 10, okay, we have here 700, 710, 720. 718, it will be right here 718 here in the middle this is between 710 and 720 which is 715 so 715 is here 718 is after it so 718 is closer to the 720 or the 710 it's closer to the 720 then it's to the 700 10 so 718 rounded to 720 
What about if we want to round it to the nearest hundred? So now we are speaking about hundreds. See here, when we round to tens, we spoke about the tens. So 700, 710, 720. Here we'll speak in hundreds. So 700 and 800, 900 and so on. So 718, here in the middle we have 750. 718 will be before this. This small dash, this means 710 and this is 700 and 20 so it, it will be something like this the 718 okay so 718 now it's closer to the 700 or the 800 it's closer to the 700 then it is to the 800 so 718 rounded to 700 okay this is the first way using the number line there is another way we will use the place value round 63 to the nearest 10 okay here we look at the 63 the digit in the ones place tells if the number is closer to 60 or 70. So if the digit is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, we will call it weak digit. And if it's 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we will call it strong. And if it's a weak digit, we will go to 60. If it's strong digit, we will go to 70. Okay, so if it's a weak digit, the digit in the rounding place stays the same. So, we are rounding to the nearest 10, the 6 stays the same, 6. So it will be 60. And if it's a strong digit, 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 9, the digit in the rounding place increases by 1. So the 6 will be 7, so it will be 70. Okay, so here the 3 is less than 5, it means it's a weak digit. It's a weak digit. It means that the 6 stay as it is. So, we write the 6 and it is 63. Anything to the right of it, we make it 0. Let's have another one. Here, round 457 to the nearest 100. Okay, here we are rounding to the nearest 100. The hundreds digit here is the 4. So, it will be 400 or 500. 400 or 500. How do we know this? Look at the digit to the right of the 4, which is the 5. The 5 is one of the weak or strong digits. The 5 is one of the strong digits, so it will be 500. So, it will be 500. Or here, we can say that 5 equals to 5, we said if it's a digit equal to 5 or greater, it will be a strong digit, so we will add 1 to the digit in the rounding place, so it will be 500. Okay, let me give you another example, for example, 328 round it to the nearest 10 okay the nearest 10 what is the 10 digit which is the 2 so we will write the 3 and the 2 it will be 20 or 30 20 or 30 how do we know 
we look at the digit to the right of it, which is the 8. The 8 is one of the strong digits. To, so the 2 will be 30. So it will be 330. Okay, hope you guys understand it now. Okay, let's solve the share and show. Okay, locate and label 46 on the number line round to the nearest 10. So, where is 46? Here is 40, here is 50. 45 is in the middle, so 46 should be something after it. So, here is 46. It's between 40 and 50. But it's closer to 50 then it is to 40 so 46 rounded to the nearest 10 is 50 okay and if we did it by the weak and strong method 46 we are rounding to the nearest 10 so the 4 it will be 40 or 50 the 6 tells us the 6 is one of the strong digits so it will be 50 so the 46 will be rounded to 50 okay here round to the nearest 10 the 10th digit here in 19 is the 1 so it will be 10 or 20 the 9 which is at the right of 1 is a strong digit so it will be 20 here is 66 the tenth digit is 6 and to the right of it is 6 which is a strong digit so this 6 it will be 70 here is 51 the tenth digit is the 5 so it will be 50 or 60 to the right of the 5 we have 1 which is weak so it will stay 50 Okay, here round to the nearest hundred. The hundreds digit here is four, so it will be four hundred or five hundred. We look at the digit to the right of it, which is six. Six is strong digit, so it will be four hundred or five hundred. It will be five hundreds. Here, the hundreds digit is two. So it will be 200 or 300. Look at the digit to the right of it, which is 0. 0 is weak or strong. 0 is weak. So it will be 200, not 300. 658. The hundreds digit is 6. So it will be 600 or 700. Look at the digit to the right of it, which is 5. 5 is strong digit. The strong digits are 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5 is a strong digit, so the 6 will be 700. Okay, hope you guys understand the lesson. And if you are in my class, I'll check the on your own questions with you on the live session. Have a nice day and goodbye.